guys, today I'm going to uh, uh, look at the stab or the upper attack. Yeah, um, it's a little different from uh, the straight thrust or the side slash or the uh, outer slash uh, because uh, the attack is coming upward. And um, stepping back uh, has its advantages and disadvantages. So I'm going to show you that now. Upper attack. If I step away, he's going to now do the same. He's going to draw back the hand to attack again, and he's going to come. So it's a little bit of a problem. Also, once I step back, yeah, if I avoid, he'll change the grip and take maybe say, try something totally different. In. So that's also possible. Um, if uh, if he starts with this. Uh, with, the, with the grip where he is going to do the upper attack, you'd be able to sense it. Uh, so if he has to start, yeah, he would, he would have a stance like this and then stab downward towards the heart. So I, I would, um, yeah. So the first thing I would suggest that, I mean, this is what I would probably do, is as he attacks, I would go slightly 45 because I wouldn't want to take a knife. Uh, I can, we, you can stop it head on. It's a bit of a risk because if you slip, uh, even a double hand, it, it can slip. It's too close. So, yeah. so I would probably go a little 45, yeah, and stop the attack. The important thing is to put the weight on the hand, not to be light, because uh, it can deflect and he can change direction and strike you. Change direction and strike when I block, okay? Yeah, yeah. No, same way. Yeah, go. See? He can, he can do that. Yeah, go, attack. So I would put weight on the hand, put some weight so that he can't force it on me, put my weight. So body weight back, when I'm stepping, body weight forward. The shift is forward now. Yeah, so it also helps me, no, go ahead, just stab here. It also helps me, this movement helps me to develop force. Yeah, so I'm back and forward, you see? So back, forward. The forward is force. Now, forward force, and I would probably strike the hand, yeah. So, one. The problem is that when you, when you do anything, the possibility of the blade cutting is, is very, a very, very good possibility, and you must be prepared for that because in a combat situation, uh, you can't be... You can never be too careful. If you're very careful, then uh, you won't be able to deliver techniques. You need to be fast, you need to be willing, uh, you need to survive. Yeah, yeah, so I would go 45, try to hold the wrist so that he can't move too much. So I'd go 45, hold the wrist. Now, when I hold the wrist, yeah, again, stab again. When I go back and hold the wrist, I would step forward probably, twist the hand first so that the blade turns away from me. Now that's priority. My body weight is forward. Now remember that he can, he can strike you now. He can kick, he can strike. Yeah. So I would do this, dislodge him first and turn the knife hand. Turn the knife hand. Probably strike on the hand to loosen the to loosen his grip, and then I would probably go for the knee strike, close by, knee strike. So out, in, punch, whatever. Elbow, elbow. So if, I'm, if I have to use the elbow strike, I would move and strike. As I would move, I'd strike, followed by a strike on the hand simultaneously. If I'm here, I would probably whack back, or if I'm here, I would hit here, hit the hand, punch the hand probably. He's, uh, he's very thin, but he's strong. I'm saying this is but uh, somebody with bigger arms, probably you have more, more surface area to strike harder. Yeah. So I would, one, out, quickly in, two, wrist joint, move in, in case he punches, I'm willing, 
When I move in, I'm always willing. Punch, I'm willing. Because you're trained, that's the whole idea, right? You shocked him, you twisted. So this would, this would, you know, take him off, take his breath off a bit, and this shock, or it could be this way, yeah, again. So in, out, two, three, one of these things which is possible, and simultaneously I would hit the hand, or punch the hand, elbow the hand, one of the things, probably, if I can. The point is that he, he might strike, he might strike back, so, come back. One, two, I would probably hit the hand and quickly make sure that I twist the hand, draw the hand towards me. You need to pull the, in, the most important thing is to get the knife out. It's better to stay close and close to the knife because the further you stay from the knife, more chances of things going wrong. So if I'm, if I'm more focused in this, then he could stab me from there. He could just grab, pull the hand out, you know, pull the hand away and then, and then stab, you know, stab back. A lot of things can go wrong. So I want to stay close to the knife, you see? You go. So I've out and in, struck him, probably again, once more, hit the hand, probably pulled, maybe whatever. Now my whole focus is either Hold, hold the knife, yeah. Either here or to come back, use it on his hand if required, come back or come completely behind, forward. Yeah, come back. Yeah, again. So out, so I'm out, locked, probably kicked, got some space for myself, quickly kicked, got some space. Moving in, kick the knee. Now, probably coming behind him. Maybe inward, whatever. And now if I'm here, I have this, I have this, I, a, lot of, I have a lot of possibilities. Now I need to survive, get the knife out and move away. Yeah. Same thing, step this way, cut upward, up to down. Yeah. Cut, yes. Now this is, is different. He's trying to cut through me this way, in an angle. So same, it doesn't matter really. You stop, one, two, three, probably lock the hand, twist. You know, in between, I don't know, you see the opportunity. You have a chance to strike here, side of the face. Now, or you move completely. Now let's say he's trying to punch you. You can, you can close, if, you're close, if your body's locked, it's difficult if you're holding the hand for him to punch. Even if he tries to reach, it's difficult. Now, you can even move inward towards him. I mean, it's any number of possibilities. Step, yeah. I've moved completely away. Now, this is a problem. If you come this far, you need to come very quickly inside. And then you can just, and move away. You can move in close, close. But when you go in close, remember the knife, don't forget. Don't think this itself is, is sufficient to strike a guy. Close, hit the hand. The knife is very important. So hit the hand, blind the guy, get him down. You're still holding the knife. Yeah. So you've, you've seen the last four, uh, three techniques that we did, the straight thrust, the outer slash, the inner slash, and now it's the upper. Uh, you'll notice that there is no plan. It just evolves as and when the technique happens. Step. I moved away 45. Now the whole situation is different. So I have first knife, right? So I, one, I'll hold the knife from outside. Safer now, because I'm on the blind side. Now I use this to break the hand. It may not work. Like I said, may not work. In which case, the elbow, the, the knee technique is there. Again, may not work. You have this twist which I've shown you before. May or may not work. You hold your hand strong. Let's say I'm not able to twist him. So I sweep him. There's a possibility, stamp, and then I can loosen the hand, get the knife out. Yeah. 
it just that's esp esp is not about a perfect technique esp about is about being flexible and flowing it's like water flowing you 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 put you put a rock in between it changes direction whatever happens it's it keeps moving wherever it finds an opportunity it moves there it's the same here when when the attack happens I might have gone left, back, or this direction, or I may just turn around, slash, go. I might have just done this, I don't know why. It's possible I've done that. So then you, you, let's say I'm using my left hand, okay, what if I use the right hand? I hold the right. Now it may be uncomfortable, so I can come here, break it here, break his hand on my hand. Here, lock him here, hold him in a lock. Bring him down. When I bring him down, I probably hold him in a lock. Hold his joint in a lock. He's not helping me. Uh, I, it might look like that. It's just that uh, when you twist the joints, they, they kind of, they help you to lock it. Uh, there are no gimmicks in this channel. And uh, you can also very, very clearly see that this is not scripted. It's not a plan. It's, it's on the move. If you have to, uh, understand the defense for the upper attack, you should study the straight thrust outer inner slashes and also the uh, principles which I have uh, uh, shown before. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you never miss any of the exciting videos from Chi is Key.